Are cars flying through the sky? Did the skyscraper next to you suddenly start to collapse? Do you see fiery explosions and lasers shooting from unseen places? If this is the case, your first instinct might be to think that there's a terrorist attack, but the truth most likely is much worse. You just ran into a superhero fight. But fear not, brave citizen. You might not have superpowers of your own, nor do you have access to paranormal technology, but with this audio guide brought to you by the Ministry of Paranormal Defence, your captain will guide you to safety. Unless you are the one causing all this mess, in which case I'll refer you to our other guide, Superpowers and Your Dead Parents. Maybe they are super soldiers, cursed warriors, extra-dimensional chosen ones, or literal gods. You might have seen them on the news. Superheroes. They come in all shapes and sizes. Some claim to be from different dimensions, while others claim they use magic to fight evil, but do not be mistaken. These interchangeable reasons for having superpowers are nothing but symptoms of a large disease that has been spreading across the world. For you see, superheroes have been around for a long time. Some say since the medieval times, or since World War II. Regardless, our studies have shown that for unknown reasons, the amount of superheroes has drastically increased in the 20th century. Scientists still ponder the reason for this rapid spread, and we may never know why. But that does not mean you can't prepare and defend yourself once you come across one. Now, it is common knowledge that superheroes are not bad men, and even have good intentions. Most of the time. However, do not mistake this for safety. As numerous examples have shown, despite their heroic intentions, Superheroes are walking disaster areas. Data shows that even a Class F superhero multiplies the casualties and property damage in an area by 500% per square meter. The more powerful this individual is, the bigger and more intense the disaster area. This effect combines and stacks when multiple heroes collaborate and start working together, with groups of over six superheroes being enough to cause planet-wide devastation. Of course, the future may seem grim right now, with no one to overwatch these inhuman threats, and with superheroes spreading like a virus and forming clusters, but fear not. Because despite the immense threat they represent, it is quite possible to survive a superhero encounter. Because if superheroes won't save you, you'll have to do it yourself. And if you put your brains to it, even the pathetic worm like you can survive with the following list. Our first step is to not be in New York. Yes, you heard that right. The city with roughly 16 million people living in it is currently one of the most dangerous places to live in. For some unknown reason, superheroes flock to this city and stay there. Maybe it's the expensive housing prices that attract them, or the overwhelmingly big rats in the sewers. For whatever their sinister and dark reason may be, Avoid New York at all times. There are reports of people losing their life in a flash, simply due to being in those areas. Currently, our departments are looking for ways to rescue those poor people trapped in that city without causing one of the heroes to snap. But their chances of survival are low, and we can only pray for their souls. One important mention is that the advice, don't be in America, has been rendered useless this decade. Although the superheroes used to be majorly centred around America, with some odd ones out in the East, now they have spread and become a global pandemic. Take a look at Japan, a once peaceful country, now home to kaiju, superheroes and aliens. It is a tragedy. The second step to survive is to avoid cars, subways and trains. Those vehicles are always the first ones to be shot and thrown up into the air. It's even safer to stay outside of your car, rather than to be inside one. And this especially goes for trains. Unless you're invincible, you definitely want to avoid those. Step 3. When running from a superhero fight, you might notice that the action and fighting is mysteriously following you. That is not a coincidence. Superhero fights always move towards areas with the largest quantity of people. So for that reason, Avoid crowds of panicked people. This isn't your typical furry convention, but a fight for life and death. So stay away from anyone you can find, even if that means you'll have to take the longer route through a hazardous waste area, burning buildings, or even collapsing buildings. 
As long as you are off camera, you are mostly safe. Mostly. Step four. Be attractive, or a child, or a dog if that's even possible. The mysterious forces of the universe for some reason tend to favour children and dogs from the Zubero's relentless rampages. Maybe it's their smaller bodies, or their lower points of gravities, or just their general cuteness, but superheroes will go out of the way to avoid damaging the aforementioned beings. Usually we would also suggest being the superhero's love interest, but more recent findings have shown that it will drastically increase your odds of dying, often by falling from heights, leaving the victim an unfortunate widow. Step 5, and maybe our most important step, being able to deliver powerful lines. Oddly enough, being able to give a good speech is fantastic for increasing your odds of survival. In the event that you cannot escape the disaster area, you should go to the Eye of the Storm and confront both the hero and the villain who will inevitably stop their fight to the death to listen to you. And this is the moment for you to dedicate your heart and give a speech about freedom and justice, society as a whole about anything really, as long as you sound righteous and brave. Because for some reason your survival odds grow to 100%. Even refusing to bow to the villain is enough to increase your survival rate. Your success will double if you are somehow able to have them put down their weapons. But even when this won't happen, you will have guaranteed your safety. Unless you are in a dark universe. In which case, being righteous only makes things worse. Um, I was just told to include another section into this guide. Uh, the boys from the Department of Heroes told me to make a clear distinction between independent superheroes and government-sponsored superhero teams and allies. Apparently, the official government superheroes are proved to be more reliable, trustworthy and overall better for society. Okay. That aside, I think this summarises the broad steps you yourself can take to survive the next superhero showdown. Unless you get snapped, in which case there's nothing you can do. <laughs> oh well, I wish you good luck with all the superheroes out there, and remember, what happens when an unstoppable force meets an unmovable object? You get the hell out of there! End communications.